An earthquake takes place approximately every two minutes. But most of these are very light, and we do not even feel them. Yet if God so wished, there could be tremors so powerful as to affect the whole world, put an end to life on it, and destroy everything. In fact, the Earth is entirely suited to earthquakes, with its fault lines and the gaps in the tectonic layers. People generally imagine that technological advances and the lessons learned from experience can prevent such disasters. Whereas all the efforts to avoid them are sometimes in vain. One of the most recent examples of this was the violent earthquake in the Japanese city of Kobe in 1995. The Japanese had built the city with quake-resistant technology, but the shock tore it apart as if it had been made of paper. The Japanese had spent billions of dollars on research into a system that would give prior warning of earthquakes, but were unable to predict this one, which came from an unexpected direction. The buildings they said could stand up to the most powerful earthquake collapsed like paper houses. Earthquakes can sometimes lead to other unexpected disasters. An earthquake at the bottom of the ocean can give rise to the giant tidal waves known as tsunami. These waves can destroy whole coastal areas. And their destructive effects sometimes reach unimaginable levels of violence. They have an average height of 30 meters. And they can occur with no warning. Hundreds of thousands of people have lost their lives because of these waves during the course of history. Such a wave can obliterate a whole coastal town. The images you are about to see were taken by a camera in the garage of a hotel built by the edge of the sea. Shortly afterwards, a second wave hits. Atmospheric incidents such as typhoons and hurricanes are frequent occurrences. These terrible winds are sometimes powerful enough to tear up houses, buildings, trees, electricity pylons, cars, and people and hurl them into the air. Man is helpless in the face of the destructive effects of whirlwinds. 
A modern city can be devastated after a powerful storm. The yachts and villas people are so proud of owning can turn into heaps of scrap. Strong rains can lead to rivers overflowing their banks and flooding, destroying in a moment everything in its path. Throughout history, millions of people have lost their lives as a result of such disasters. And many more people will continue to do so in the future. And most of those people will never for one moment have thought that their lives would end in such a manner. The most important thing is to learn from such disasters, which are warnings reminding man of his mortality and the transitory nature of the life of this world. Man must think about these disasters and realize that this world is not worth being passionately attached to, that it is not a place in which one can live forever. History is full of incidents warning that the life of this world is only transitory and that death is near. One of these warning incidents occurred in 1912, the worst maritime catastrophe in the history of the world. The Titanic, the largest and most luxurious liner that had ever been built, was described as the pride of the British. Fifty-five meters high and 275 long, the ship was technically speaking state-of-the-art. Many people said the Titanic was unsinkable. Yet it struck a giant iceberg on its first voyage and was seriously damaged and sank under the waters of the Atlantic in a terrifying manner. Some 90 years afterwards, the disaster was the subject of Hollywood films. One thousand five hundred passengers drowned in the icy waters. Since the ship was regarded as unsinkable, there were very few lifeboats on it. Among those who perished were wealthy and aristocratic people from Britain. The incident once again demonstrates that people cannot avoid the destiny that God has set out for them. The Titanic tragedy is a historical lesson, showing the kind of disasters that those who grow arrogant on account of their wealth and those who forget that God is the only absolute power can find themselves facing. One well-known example of people who grew proud and were then destroyed is the destruction of the ancient city of Pompeii. 
According to historians, 2,000 years ago the slopes of Mount Vesuvius were covered in vines. The city of Pompeii was built between 